Yo, m i n a s a n and konnichiwa. Welcome to Kanji Stories, the show where every single day I try to break down a Japanese kanji and explain to you how to remember it. This is extremely useful if you are struggling to remember a kanji and you need a little bit of a hand. That's what I'm here for. Today we're talking about the symbol that indicates space. Now, this space isn't the space, for example,、um, outer space. However, it's more like a, the space between your ears, the space between yourself and the computer, or the space between one door and another. That space. It indicates an interval, if you will, in time space. Okay? With that, the own readings,、um, there is now again, I try to put the most common own reading, the most common reading at the beginning. And this is Kan. Ken is also read, and you will see this, but most of the time it's going to be read as Kan when it's used in after another s y l l a b l e as the own readings are used when Kanji are used in a compound or used together, most of the time. The secondary reading, the Kun reading, these are all fairly commonly used, but Aida is the most common. See it like the Pareto's principle or the 80 20 rule, where Aida is going to be the most commonly used, followed by Ma, and then lastly, I. When you read the newspaper, for example, Ma will be more common, but Aida is what's usually used, no Aida ni, no Aida, during that time, during that space, during that interval in the word that's going to be used there when it's usually alone in a sentence. However, let's talk about the etymology here, okay? Because this is very interesting as we're introducing a new radical. So the first part here is the sun, right down be- below here. And the overarching part, the thing that makes the main shape, is a gate, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, this gate here is、um, made of these two parts, these, almost these two facing P and nine looking things with a line through the middle. That gate there and the sun in between. Now, I don't think that it's indicating necessarily a sun between them, but more the space, the The area in between the gate there, the gate's two different doors, and the area in between them, the sun that's there. So, when you're looking at this symbol, I see that space right there put in there by the sun. But comment down below what you see so you can tell me how to remember this symbol that indicates space. Okay? With that, though, let's talk about some common words. Some common words in this, of course, include jikan. Now, we learned the symbol for ji or time yesterday. And so the second one, interval, would mean that interval of time. The second one we have is between. Now, this can be used for temporal or for physical things. Are those the same thing? I don't know. Regardless, this can be used for a physical space or it can be used for a time space. So, for example,、um, I was, if I say I was in Japan during the time I was in Japan, Nihon ni sundetta aida ni, during the time I was in Japan, or it could be the time, you know, the space. Watashi to kono pasko no aida ni would be the space in between myself and the computer. And last one is human, ningen. Now, I, the reason I decided to show this symbol is. For a couple of reasons. Sometimes kanji, when used with other kanji,、um, Were put there because, well, honestly, they were trying to put in sound symbols, a symbol that was gen or kan, beside another symbol to fill in the Japanese language, nin, gen. So the symbols became human. However,、um, Sometimes kanji will be put together and they don't always mean what you think they might mean. That's why it's always good to look them up. However, being able to try to come with a reasoning behind them doesn't always make sense, as this word doesn't make sense to me. Why would the symbol for human, the symbol for a space between them, mean humanity? Maybe it's the space between people. I don't know, but、uh, it's a good thing to kind of wrap your brain around and understand that things aren't always going to be per- put into perfect little boxes. However, with that, I am out of time. I try to keep these very, very short. And if you like that, make sure to hit the like down below. It does mean a lot to me. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. And remember, it takes 10,000 mistakes to become fluent. Therefore, let's make some mistakes. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, Johnny.